Nothing says summer like homegrown tomatoes, fresh sweet corn and delicious watermelon. And there's no better way to get those flavors of the season than buying fresh at local farm stands and farmers markets. Our friend Mindy Trujillo authors the local food and travel blog Go There, Try That. And she's here with a couple of her favorite places to check out. I mean, you can go to a different one every day around oh, here. Oh, absolutely. You yeah. sure can. So and tell me the difference between a farm stand yes. and a farmer's okay. market, Mindy. So farm stands, you're going to find more along the side of the road. They are um, more in rural areas. You can find, like, if you can, go directly to the farm. So we have places like Turner Farm, Shaw Farm. Um, my favorite right now, Burwinkle Farms. I don't oh, know if you've heard that? of that. Ross, Ohio. Okay. So it's a little bit of a drive. I guess that's northwest. Mm -hmm. But the best watermelon, the best sweet corn, the best tomatoes, the best berries Ooh. I've had this summer have been from Burwinkle. Okay. So if you go there, you're going to see all of their goods. They have all kinds of vegetables. And the really nice thing is it's like picked fresh, mm. put right there. You're taking it home without the middleman or the time in between. And it so tastes so good great when farms. it's just picked like that, oh, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, With and your then farmer's, farmer's markets. Yes, that's more of like um, a festive community party kind yeah. of thing. So you're going to get your fresh produce from the farms, bringing them in. So you'll still get that. But you're also going to find things like locally made soaps and salsas and hummus and pickles and live music and often there's food trucks and food vendors and so you're going to find all kinds of things when you're shopping at a farmer's market and, not just food and it's not just shopping i mean you could you might have bands there so tell oh, me about some absolutely. of the other things you can experience yes so like i said live music <laughs> food um, and you're going to find some great local businesses to start supporting like so now there's places i go back repeatedly mm. where when i know where they're going to be because i want to buy those things yeah and the coolest thing about going to farmers markets and farm stands you know where your food is coming from you know that it's picked fresh it's mm -hmm. like left to ripen if it's fruit especially until it's supposed to so you're getting the most nutrients and the best flavor out of it which is really important it's and good for the environment it is very yeah. good for the environment you're supporting your local farmers and the thing is I'm gonna be honest when I'm shopping at farm stands and farmers markets I'm eating healthier yeah because I'm going I'm stocking up on colorful fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. and then I get home and I'm like well we got to eat this right you know we got <laughs> to eat make this. it we got to cook with it so you're going to eat healthier and so it's the best of summer food in the freshest possible I know. way i feel like i always eat better in the summer too you do now what other tips do you have for maybe getting These are ready things to go i've learned the hard way okay. so first of all bring your own bags not everybody <laughs> has it's not like going to kroger and not right. everybody has plastic bags plus we're trying to get away from plastic anyway so if you've got your own bags bring them and you'll probably buy more than you expected to so bring extra the thing that I really learned is bring a cooler I've been multiple times and we have local farms that are selling fresh chicken mm -hmm. eggs cheeses that cannot be beat well it's kind of hard in the summer if you don't have a cooler with yeah. some ice to keep those in so bring a cooler in your car I would suggest that for sure and then bring cash you don't always right. have to have cash, but not everybody accepts yeah. credit cards. So if you can, stock up on some cash. Now, which of the farmer's markets around here are some of your favorites? Some of my favorites would be, and there, if you go online, there's one every day, and I'm going to have a blog post up this okay. afternoon, too. Some of my favorites would be, um, for sure, Hyde Park. Sunday morning, it's huge, it's in the, the square. Mm -hmm. um, you'll find lines, like people repeat customers at places like Blue Oven Bakery, Jaybird Farms, like they've got some great ones. Fresh cut flowers, oh, they're so nice. beautiful. But Hyde Park is huge, there's always music, there's food trucks, come for lunch. Um, another one of my favorites would be Loveland is really nice. That one's on Tuesday afternoons. There's a great one in Covington. So if you're a Northern Kentucky person, coming Saturday morning, Saturday yeah. mornings, but literally every day of the week, Saturday, Anderson, um, Mount Washington, Northside has a great one on Wednesday evenings. And in Cincinnati, we have some stores that focus on selling local produce too. Mm -hmm. So there's one in the, the Newtown market, there's Country Fresh in Anderson. So there really are great places That's and opportunities yeah. to really support local eat healthy, get the most bang out of your fruits and vegetables. And I'll give a shout out to my friends at Reeves in Ludlow. Okay, little, so I'm adding, it's a little place in Ludlow. Yeah, go okay. check that out. Ludlow, Kentucky, Reeves, right? Yep. I've not been there, but I'm adding it there to my go. list. All right. Check the blog later for the full details. Yes. Thank you, Mindy. Go Thank there, you. try that. We'll be right back.